Alrighty, so we have a uh, Adra or Attila, as his tag is, uh, versus Croy. Game one. I'm gonna reset the scores here now in a moment. And here we go, Croy versus Attila, game one. Uh, very close game, uh, but as you all know, uh, uh, actually, as a lot of you probably don't know, uh, you, you have a lot of grab releases when playing as Marth against Wario, such as right here, and, okay, up smash, uh, a, a common one is a, a late grab release, which will be an up tilt, uh, which can kill, uh, or a stutter stepping F smash to hit him with a tip behind your head, and let's see if which one we'll see now, oh, and we try to see the stutter step with the tip behind his head, close, no cigar. Good. Oh, good, good stuff. Good spacing by Attila. Uh, Croy doing his best as he can to get in, but that's a grab release. It's probably going to be a kill with an up tilt, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we're from platform, and it came. Goodness gracious. That, uh, that is very handy. That moving platform on Smashville can cover him no matter where he is in a grab release as long as he can hold out long enough uh, and just does not mash out until he absolutely has to when the platform's coming by. Ooh, power shields there. Uh, Croy being very close to death here, but uh, all it takes is a bit, and the waft sh should be ready soon. And there it is. And that's a 1-0 for Croy. Alrighty. Oh, there's <laughs> platform dash. That was cute. The folks, how's the, um, uh, how's the chat working out? How's the chat working out? Just making sure that we are still connected. Those periodic periods are just to make sure that we're still connected because it does disconnect us every once in a while. Good to see you, dude. those of you who are watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, shout out to the last game store in Lacewood for hosting these tournaments and being so generous as to give us four setups. Oh, that was nice. Oh, my. That was, that was beautiful. That was a uh, perfect jump cancel onto the platform, and although that will ruin this uh, grab release once again. There's the uh, there's the up smash. Oh, down tilt clash with his forward. Oh, nice neutral there to cover him. Oh, the platform's nowhere near him. Oh, my come. No, it was the up tilt. Still no kill. 150. Very good DI by Croy. Uh, DI just straight behind him. Uh, and the loft is ready soon, but that is unfortunate. I'm kidding. It's not. He made it back with the bike recovery. Oh, nice forward air. I believe that was a tipper. Oh, there's another up air, and that's a kill. That's 1-1 uh, one, one now. 1-1. One, one. Alrighty, folks. Here we are. We are back. Uh, Battlefield. Battlefield now. 1-1. Uh, Even game. Uh, so we have two more, at least, to play. Uh, depending on who wins this one and the next one. So uh, let's see how this one plays out. So far, uh, as you'd expect, uh, the Marth player, Attila here, uh, is just trying to space out Wario, get those grab releases. Nice, nice forward tilt, different option. Okay, Dolphin Flash, clear the field. <laughs> and another one. It uh, comes out stupid fast. I think it's frame one. It might even be frame two, but it, it's fast. It's safe off out of shield, which is just silly. Another forward tilt. Good, good spacing here. We're seeing a lot of good spacing games. Nice side B there, keeping them in the whole thing. Not changing to the down part at the end. Is this going to be a grab release? I do believe it is. Tries for the stutter step, does not get it. 
It's coming very close to that starter step, though. It's not going to take much to get it now. And especially with his 70% lead, he has a lot to play around with. There it is. Uh, he's in a good spot. There's an up tilt. No kill, though. 135. That was dangerous. And the tipper forward air sends him flying. Not quite off, though. Another forward tilt. It's going to be any moment now. There it is. No bike, no recovery. All right, a uh, salty run back. Here we go. Alrighty, we're back here. Just had to call into the match, and I'm sorry for the absence, but here we are. Very close match. Oh, good recovery there. Oh, is this going to be another grab release? Ah, it's a forward tilt. No up tilt there. Probably trying to keep it fresh. Oh, there's my counter you're looking to see. Uh, not successful though. Up air gets to kill at 152. Uh, evening out this set to 2 2, sending it into game 5, the very last possible game of the set. Tight match. Even in an already fast paced mode of brawl with the one stock 4 minutes. Let's see how it turns out. Alright, and Battlefield one more time. Uh, a very neutral stage, I mean the, the three stationary platforms, an FD sized regular platform on the bottom. Uh, it's, a, it's a favorite stage by most. Oh, the double hit neutral air there. That forward air doesn't quite send him off, and that puts him. Uh, that puts the game at about even, I would say. I'm not going to call it in anyone's favor right now. Uh, one grab at least leads to quite a bit of damage. Okay, no, more good spacing. I'm waiting to see how Croy is trying to get around that, uh, that huge hurt box. I'm gonna try and turn down my mic here. See if uh, let me know if that uh, sounds a little better to you, folks. If if it's too loud or anything like that, or the audio is out of sync, just let us know, and we'll try and fix it right away. Ooh, good forward tilt there. Good forward tilt. Oh. That was that was that was a nice edge card there. Caught him just at the tip of the up B, and that puts it uh, that puts the match for Koi, or the round for Koi rather, three two. 